Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. What a storm it was tonight. That's why we're getting started late. And it's going to be a short weather update because i got to work on the, the storm uh, footage. But, uh, yeah, we got some lightning. I, I, you know, there was a lot of, uh, there was, it was a lot of very brilliant lightning. Uh, just a few bolts here and there, but uh, I, got, I captured a few of them. Essentially, the camera kind of overexposed this, this one a little bit here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, really uh, bright. Uh, very brilliant lightning, even a shelf cloud here visible uh, with this storm. And then uh, it just lasted for on and on and on, just pouring rain. You'll see in the video later. But let's get to uh, the latest radar right now that we have. And you can see uh, these storms here are moving now away. Just move this over here in the center here. You can see that they are moving away now. But a lot of rain here. It was a lot of lightning with this, a lot of lightning, a lot, tremendous amount of lightning. And I took a lot of video of it, so you'll, you'll have to be patient. It's going to take me at least a couple hours to get this video up for you. Uh, looking at the satellite, you can see the storms blowing up. Look at this. You can see the storms just blowing up and just holding together the whole way through. Incredible. Uh, the winds have shifted to the northwest right now, but let's take a look and see how much rainfall we've gotten uh, from these storms because I tell you, it, it feels like we got a lot of rain out of these. Yeah, we got over an inch of rain. Uh, definitely an uh, inch of rain and a lot of flooding, an uh, inch and a half of rain in central now, so less as you get towards Suffolk County. Uh, we got a flood advisory for the city and part western parts of Nassau County. Uh, some areas got o well over an inch, two inches in some of these spots too, so a lot, a lot of rain has fallen uh, as well. So we'll just go over the highs and the lows briefly here. Highs uh, across Long Island, we had mid-80s. Uh, as you went toward the city, it was closer to 90, and Jersey, uh, yeah, mid-90s again. At least they didn't hit 100. Uh, and then lows, mid-70s, of course. Uh, and I know I didn't, go over the, uh, I didn't go over the weather for yesterday either, so I have to do that as well. So uh, let's, uh, I mean, I didn't go over the statistics for yesterday, so everything's kind of out of whack here with what I have set up here, so you'll have to be patient. Uh, but quite a lot of lightning. In fact, just to show you how much lightning we had, we'll just put this back to... 36 and we'll go to the light uh, GLM flash intensity so you see all the lightning uh, that flared up from these storms you can see just tons and tons of lightning a lot of lightning a lot of lightning we had so and uh, so yeah this really really impressive storms here uh, let's see if they've caused any damage we'll go to the PSCG Long Island power outage map and see if we have we have 1490 uh, people without power right now 1490 customers it's not terrible mostly North Shore and uh, middle of the island. So I just want to go back a little bit here. I realized I wanted to show you what was going on. There were actually some pretty big thunderstorms this afternoon before we got hit. Oh, I'll go to the Radar Rewind in a moment. Uh, go to the Radar Rewind. Uh, let's rewind the radar to 3 o'clock, and you'll see there were some pretty hefty thunderstorms actually in the Hudson Valley that moved into Connecticut, actually. And you could see, actually, the thunderstorms actually caused a special marine warning. A very impressive cell, but of course it br kind of fell apart by the time it got toward Long Island. But uh, just to show you the pictures of it, look at that. Yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive right there. Look at that. Wow. So that's a nice little thunderstorm right there. That's a th this was from this afternoon. All right. Uh, but very impressive. And this, and then another cell popped up this evening. Uh, if we go to around um, seven o'clock, uh, there was another cell that popped up over West Central Suffolk. Not severe or anything, but again, had a pretty nice cumulonimbus cloud formation right there uh, uh, with it. Uh, and then this evening, um, we hit this kind of sky here. It was coming in. You knew something was about to go down. This is around Roosevelt Field at around 8.30. So, yeah, very active day across the area today. Uh, let's see if we can get some storm reports from the uh, National Weather Service here. As far as power outages, I went over that already. Uh, we'll go to the uh, power outage map here for New York, and you'll see it's mostly upstate that's dealing with the power outages. These storms didn't cause too many power outages for Long Island, though I think I just heard thunder again. So I'm going to have to check the radar again. Jersey is 11,000 customers without power. Monmouth. Um, well, let's check that radar again. Let's see what's going on here. Um, no, I don't see anything else on there. Uh, but there is another cell that's out over the water here. Uh, but, yeah, quite quite a day. It's still raining out there, so still getting rain 
right now. So um, let's go and look at our – well, actually, before we do that, let's go talk about the uh, Long Island Railroad. We have a problem on the Port Jefferson branch. Uh, Port Jefferson branch customers can expect severe delays of up to 60 minutes in cancellation due to a down tree caught in electrical wires east of Syosset. Some trains will have to terminate at – originate and terminate at Hicksville. They're trying to operate as many th- trains through Syosset while PSCG, LI crews, and LAWR – uh, personnel aren't seen. There is shuttle bus in service uh, between Hicksville and Huntington. Uh, so uh, as far as this causing any power outages, uh, we go to the outage map here. I don't see any outages that are actually by the tracks. There's one outage over here in Huntington Station, but I don't really see any outages around Syosset. So I'm wondering if it's perhaps the transmission line that went down. Uh, that's not good if that happened. But I guess maybe they're able to reroute power. I, I don't know exactly what wires are involved. We do have a few outages. as an outage she on the east side of Mineola. Got a couple of scattered outages here. Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Uh, but the storm was really impressive. I can't wait to share the video with you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to be patient with that. But uh, let's take a look at some observations here at Islip. Winds have shifted to the northwest and uh, hit 84 there, obviously. Uh, I do want to look and see if we had any... Strong winds. Our wind gusts up to uh, 37 miles an hour uh, out there with the storm. And th- like I said, there was a shelf with this. Let's see if I can find the picture that shows it. Uh, that's certainly not it. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, I think it's this one. You can see it. There's definitely a shelf with this. Yeah, look at the shelf cloud right there. Uh, you can kind of sort of see it at night. There it is right there. Uh, lit, lit, lit up by the lightning. Uh, lit up by the lightning here. Power's flickering a little bit here, too. I don't know. If oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, pretty ominous. So you'll have to stay tuned for that video. Um, let's see if we can get some storm reports here from the Weather Service. They don't have any on their website, of course. Of course they don't. Of course they're going to make us look. Why do they do this? Let's see if we can go to the storm reports here. All right, thunderstorm wind damage in. This was at 10.51 p.m. All right, that's an old. Let's see if we can get some on Long Island. So Connecticut, looks like they had a 60-mile-an-hour wind gust at row 10. That was with that cell earlier, I think. Uh, no, that was with the second cell tonight. So uh, Connecticut, 60-mile-an-hour uh, wind gust there, 40-mile-an-hour mile, 40 wind gust at, and a 52-mile-an-hour wind gust at Glen Cove as well. So, uh yeah, I don't, I don't hear any reports of any... Uh, all right, we do a flooding on the Meadowbrook Parkway. No, that's Meadowlands Parkway. Uh, flood uh, in West Pleasant Street. Wires down on White Street. Large tree down. I wish they'd put the link to that map up. Actually, hold on a sec. Our weather service doesn't do it, but the ones upstate do. So let's see if we can... Uh, it was that one of those ones upstate that we were looking at that had a nice little map. I think it was Binghamton that had a map of storm reports. Yeah, here we go. Good for them. At least they have it. So here we go. Uh, here we go. Here's the map. Nothing for Long Island yet. But you can see there's that wind gust of 52. We've got some flooding in Secaucus. More wind reports here in Connecticut. Trees down. Um, so, yeah, quite, quite a very impressive thunderstorm indeed. Uh, for the area. Very, very impressive indeed. Uh, we still have one flash flood warning in effect for uh, northwest of Philadelphia. Um, let's go out of this. and Let's go to Wonder Map. And look at some precipitation amounts. Let's see if we can get some more rainfall amounts here because, yeah, we got a lot of rain. 1.74. A lot of rain. On the South Shore... Yeah, they didn't get much at all. Yeah, they missed out. They only got 0.35. So the storm went more for the north shore in the middle of the island. And you can see 1.5, yeah, over an inch of rain here in some of these areas here. Um, yeah, over an inch of rain. That south shore of Suffolk got nothing, and nothing out east either. So, yeah, not, not all that much of rain. Uh, it's hoping maybe the rain would hold together a little more, but hey. This is what happens. So again, this is your radar right now. Storms have weakened, uh, and it, it's almost over. We have the front uh, passing off to the south. Uh, so let's go and look at the um, models, and we'll just talk about the weather through tomorrow, uh, and we'll cover more into the weekend tomorrow night because there's a lot 
of stuff to talk about tonight. You can see high pressure builds in, and we have much better weather coming for your Thursday and Friday. Uh, so let's go to the HRRR model here. Zero Z run. And you'll see here, again, uh, this line kind of, yeah, the, <laughs> the zero Z really, I, I was looking at these runs, and I'm like, oh, it looks like it's going to fizzle. But it wasn't fizzling. <laughs> uh, and then um, you see yeah, it moves off to the south. Uh, maybe some clouds. Uh, but other than that, uh, we should be uh, dealing with much more, more comfortable air moving in. So you got those very high dew points. And they're going to start dropping the bar afternoon into the 60s and even some 50s. Uh, the winds will probably shift to the west. Probably not. It might be a sea breeze. But uh, with the west wind, should, northwest wind should bring in the drier air. And then Friday... We have a northeast to east wind. That's going to bring in a much, a really nice day for your Friday. Uh, temperatures probably still not going to drop that much tonight. Tomorrow we're still going to see temperatures mid to perhaps even upper 80s. Still pretty warm, uh, but not as humid. Tomorrow night we'll drop into the 60s. And then uh, for your Friday, uh, highs in the low to mid 80s. So it'll be pretty pleasant. And if we uh, take a sounding here, we'll try to do that in a moment. Try. We'll try. Uh, you'll see it's showing fairly clear skies for your Friday. Uh, for tomorrow, however, we will be dealing with some high cloudiness because of the proximity of that front to the south. So if I click on this, you'll see. Probably show some high clouds. Yeah, it does show some upper level moisture. So uh, let's go and look at the RGM for skies. And you'll see again that cirrus that we'll be dealing with tomorrow. But then we should push that off to the south and have a nice day on Friday. Uh, the only question is, will there be smoke? Well, uh, for that, uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow night. I have a lot of stuff I've got to do tonight. So uh, that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. A very active night across the area. Rain's still not done yet, but the severe threat should be done. So have a good night.